How to play pickleball. You're going to need a pickleball bag with carabiners so that you can place that bag on the fence and out of the playing zone. Patella supports are also a good idea to support your knees. Outdoor pickleballs with the smaller holes. Again, patella supports, pickleball paddles, tennis shoes, eye protection for low light and bright conditions. Again, outdoor pickleballs have the smaller holes. A towel for heavy sweating conditions. Water and electrolytes as well as BCAAs. Find a court. A few of your friends and let's play pickleball. I'm gonna walk you through some of these points, but yes, we start off with 002, meaning it's the second server. So you only have one opportunity as a team to serve the ball. They missed the return long, so we now have the score of 102 because we're still on the second server. The goal in pickleball is to get up to the kitchen, which is that front third of the court that you see there right in front of the net. And that's considered the no volley zone, meaning the ball has to bounce in that rectangular area in order for you to play that ball. If you can reach it out of the air, you can play the ball, but you can't step really on the line or into the kitchen or it's a fault. After the serve, you wanna get right up to the kitchen because as I mentioned, 90% of the points in pickleball are won up at the kitchen. Unlike tennis, where it's exactly the opposite these days and a lot of the points are won at the baseline. So you want a strong, deep return to get up to the kitchen. You want to hold steady there and get into what we call a dinking battle. So once you're up to the kitchen, the idea is to dink until someone makes a mistake and then it gets really exciting. You try to put the ball away. So obviously you want to keep the ball low and at people's feet as opposed to popping it up and giving the opponents an easy put away. When it's time for your team to serve, the objective is to hit the serve into the opposite box, so on the diagonal, and it must go deeper than the kitchen line. So the kitchen line is considered a fault. If the ball hits that, it has to go beyond the kitchen line. The center line is legal. So here on the ad side, I'm serving in the diagonal across again and that ball was out so you definitely want to get out of the way you are in play if the ball hits you and it would be the opposing team's point so here you see my partner was stuck in what we call the transition zone it's one of the hardest areas on the court to play the ball it can get really tricky and the opposite team is always aiming for your feet so you want to get out of that transition zone I did it here. I popped the ball up, which is another thing you want to make sure that you don't do because you're giving away easy points. But the transition zone, you want to get in and out of there very quickly using what you've heard as the third shot drop. We'll get into that in another video, but you see here myself and my opponent use the third shot drop to get up to the kitchen to get into a battle with the guys without being attacked. When it's the opposing team's turn to serve the ball, they get two opportunities to score points, meaning they have a first and second server. That's why we score with the format 002 or 111, meaning you have one point, the opposing team has one point, and you're on the first server. Again, when you return the ball, you wanna get right up to the kitchen, and if the opposing team is back, you want to try to keep them back. So I'll let you watch some of the points here, and I'll come back and comment a little bit more when I can think of other tips and rules that I can think of. You'll probably want to Google all the finite rules because there's quite a few in terms of where you can um, step, when, um, specifics about the serve, what makes a serve legal, what makes a serve illegal. But the game is a lot of fun, 
And if you want something more specific, I can definitely do like a breakdown. But um, here you can just see we're having a lot of fun. It's girls against guys. I'm pretty sure we won this game. Actually, no, we lost. We were up and it was super close, but we had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and I hope I answered some of your questions about how to play pickleball. Yeah. What? Uh, you're shy. Can you yell it? You're jumping off of the Oh, how much time?